So your screen will look like this. You would click create project and name it whatever you want. I'm going to use my class name one as I might use this in the future. Uh, you can name it iPad Palooza, class name, whatever you want. You'll come to this. If you haven't made any more any blips before, you'll just need to click create a blip. I'm going to name this one Flying Fox because that's what it is about. So I'm going to upload my marker. Marker being what the students will click to trigger. Now that might be printed out uh, on, on the board. It might be as the students enter the classroom, you know, this is your task for today. Or it might be just on a little piece of paper, you know, one between two. They can stick it in their book, scan it for later. You're going to be taking into Blip Builder, Work Plane. It's coming in for me. All right. So in your download pack, on the you will see you have a symbol that looks something like this and another one that looks something like that. You can save them from anywhere, open clip art. Make your own. I made this one just in Keynote, a circle and a triangle. Upload that from the download pack. Once they are in, it's just a click and a drag. Click and drag those. You can make it however big you want and position them wherever you want on the screen. This is what the students will see when they scan and the blip has been activated. Now you can remember the Z is how far out from, this, from the piece of paper it is to give it that 3D look. I'm just going to take mine out a little bit further. All right, that's what it'll look like. Gives it a bit of a 3D look. Okay, now to activate, what's going to happen when they touch that? So select your sound icon and then this one here is interactions at interactions we're going to play a sound now I'm going to name it that call and go from there now I've already uploaded mine but you would click upload and I've just saved that from sound bible free royalty sounds that sort of thing um, no, that's not the one. There we go. That's vocalizing. And same here for this one. Tapping that. Going over here, add interactions, full screen video. Name that Bat Flying. You could do a YouTube video. YouTube's blocked for the EQ department, so I've saved this video. Uploaded it here, but you would click upload. Now, trick, down here under format, it says MP3 audio, I can't click my movie. All files. That tricked me, tripped me up a few times. Now, select what you want, confirm, and confirm again. Alright, so that's what it looks like. That's what's going to happen now. Alright, so what do we do next? So the kids are going to need to uh, look uh, for their task. So I'm going to put in a text box. And I'm going to add in the text down on the right hand side. Task. I'm going to make it all bold. Uh, let's. Now you can alter this however you want. I'm just going to quickly do to do. Okay, move it over here, task. So it's popping out, that's what you have to do. I might even make it pop out a little bit more. Hey kids, do this. All right, so tap that to select it. Interaction, PDF. You can do it like, uh, YouTube link, sorry, not a YouTube link, URL, or from your computer, like I'm going to do, and you will do this, upload, Flying Fox task, PDF document. All right, there we go. Once again, confirm, confirm. So, going to test and publish it. 
Remember to enter the campaign code. I'm going to run you through that on the app. So give me a moment. Uh, apologies for the portrait mode. Makes me go into portrait mode. Going to hit the three lines in the top corner, settings, and I'm going to enter my code. Mine is 22630. And confirm yours will be whatever it is. Okay, so let's hope that when I scan here, it does depend on internet connection. Oh, there we go. There we go, it's loading. And we've got, uh, I'll tap my play button. And there we go. We have liftoff. Obviously has to load as well. That's why you have to keep it in a slow file. Let's hit done. See if the rest of them work. Now let's turn my ringer on. Nice irritating noise for the kids. And hit my task button and then the PDF document will load. Successfully, uh, we'll hit publish. And we will make it live in all countries. I haven't actually tested out this test code. I'm not exactly sure what it does, to be honest. And publish. Awesome. Congratulations, that's your first blip.